Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday, guys. I can see it. Good morning. I can feel it. Time has come now to reveal it. Good morning. I've been waiting for a long time now to do it. Hello, hello. I'll do it. Okay. I believe it. Let's see why isn't this not working? I can have it. I believe it. Okay. All right, guys. Invite somebody on here. We are going to talk about my hair. Just kidding. We're going to talk about how to manage your energy. I, I owed you guys this video. So, hey. Good morning, good morning. It's my, this is a nice lipstick. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, let's get started. The diva, oh yeah. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. And uh, so this is a video that I have a live that I owe you guys since like, two Mondays ago or something like that. Um, so let me give you guys a little bit of background. I don't know why this is not working. Okay, no problem. Um, let me give you guys a little bit of background of why I'm doing this video. So last two Mondays ago, uh, Monday, what was it? Monday, whatever day it was, my husband got into an accident on the Sunday before and he got into an accident on his bike and you know he really, really hurt himself and he was in the hospital all Sunday. And then on Monday, he had to go into surgery. And we found out that he was going to go into surgery on Monday. Sunday, we found out because he had emergency surgery. And um, and then that same morning, hello, that same morning, I had to do, I was asked to do the Monday motivational call with Herbalife. And um, like, here I am, totally like sad and upset and really, really worried. And here I am. You know, they asked me to do this motivational Monday call for the whole nation. And so I got myself together and I was able to do it. I think it turned out really good. And so a couple of people were like, how did you get through that call? Like I would have been a hot mess. And I was sharing with them like, you know, I there's things that I do to get me ready. There's things that I do to how do I manage my energy? And so I put a poll out. I said, do you guys want to know about it? And pretty much almost everyone said, yes, please. So I, uh, I hadn't done it because it was, thank you. I'm glad you liked it, Raquel. The call was amazing. Um, but, you know, so I actually, you know, that whole week, I wasn't able to do it because uh, I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't in the right state of mind to give it to you guys to give you the content. So, you know, and then this last week, I'm going to just be honest and transparent with you. I had a really challenging week, like my husband being home in a lot of pain and me feeling helpless and like, how do I help you? What do I do? What do I not do? Like, you know, navigating through those unknowns was not easy. Right. And so I was like, OK, I, I really need to get this done before the weekend. So, you know, here I am. I had a, I prepped myself this morning and, you know, I was like, I'm just going to get it done. So if you have anything to write with, you definitely or I'll post some. The, I'll post this on the feed. Um, and that is like, how do I get myself aligned? How do I get myself ready to be able to win? OK, how do I manage my energy? So let me explain. Number one, okay, and here's the 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 ground, the the root of it all, okay, and that is this: you must really know yourself in order to manage yourself, okay. You cannot manage that which you do not know. So, like, if you have absolutely no idea about how you are, what your triggers are, what makes you feel good, like, if you don't know those things, like. I know that we we all have them, but maybe you don't really know them because you're not really in touch with them, okay? So number one, 
to be able to really manage your energy and have power over your energy, you must really, really like, no kidding. You must really understand what makes you feel good. What makes you not feel good. Okay. And you really have to understand the difference between those two. Like being able to understand, like, you know what? Okay, hold on. What is going on here? Hang on one second. While I do this, you guys can share and invite somebody who maybe needs to hear this. I don't know why this just went like this. Hang on a second really quick. Okay. I have no idea what happened. Okay, no biggie. Um, so number one, you really need to, number one, you really need to know yourself. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to invite you if you really want to take this on for yourself is this coming up week, like especially over the weekend when you're around your family a lot, like start to observe yourself, start to think like, oh, you know what that got on my nerves. Oh, you, and don't say anything just observe yourself. Notice what makes you feel good. Notice what doesn't make you feel good. Okay, notice what puts you in a good mood. If you notice that song that I put at the beginning of the video, this is one of my go-to songs. So like if I need to feel a certain way, I can listen because I'm very auditorial. Okay, so like you got to understand also, what are your senses? Are you more like of a feeler? More of a like, you know, so all the senses, me, I'm more auditorial. Like I, I need to hear my husband tell me he loves me. Like I need to hear certain things. I'm also more of a touching type of person, okay? So what are the things that make you feel good, okay? And what are the things that trigger you? Now, that is the most important thing because if you don't know those, everything else I'm gonna talk about is not gonna serve you, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, how do I... If I can go from one, by the way, you guys, what I'm about to tell you is not something that you're going to master over a weekend. This has been something that I have been practicing for years, okay? And what I'm about to share with you, like it took me maybe a few hours, then a few minutes. Now, it literally takes me seconds. I can snap myself out of almost, almost anything, okay? I can put myself in state in almost seconds, almost all the time. Not always, but almost always. Why? Because I've been doing it so much. Okay. So number one, what are the things notice? Stop and notice. What are the things that trigger you? What are the things that make you feel good? What are the things that like have you feel a certain way? Like start noticing all those things. Okay. Number two, okay. Discover a routine, patterns, habits, whatever you want to call them, okay, what are the things that when you do them, especially in a specific order, that's going to come with time, okay, you're going to have to play with it. But what are the things that when you do them in a specific order, they put you in a certain state? Okay, so what are the things? So for example, I'll give you an example for me. Okay, I used to wake up, put on my stuff and go straight to the gym put on my shoes and everything like that, go straight to the gym, okay? And then from the gym, I would like listen to my audio and I would feel good and I would start my day, okay? Now what I've noticed is that if I meditate first and then work out, I feel so much better throughout the day, okay? So that is one of my winning formulas. So one of the things that I've noticed is that when I, if I work out first, and then I meditate, it's not the same. Not for me. It might be for you, okay? But it's not the same for me. But when I wake up, I meditate. I drink my, my night works with my tea, and I'm meditating, or like I'm listening to something, just drinking it, just listening, listening. And then I meditate, even if it's for like 10 minutes, okay? And I sit down. I don't lay down when I do this because I'll fall back asleep. But I sit down, I have a pillow, I put it against the wall, my back is nice and straight, and I'm listening to something that empowers, enriches my mind, and I'm drinking my tea, and then I meditate, and then I get dressed and I work out. So when I do those things, it puts me in a certain state of mind, okay? That might not be for you, but how are you going to know if you don't even try? So one of the things, number one, is find out what triggers you. What makes you feel good? What doesn't make you feel good, okay? Number two is start to look at, okay, what are the things that when you do them in a certain order, 
it makes you feel a certain way, okay? And you're gonna have to play with that, okay? And then number three, okay? And that is that you want to start having, so those are the internal things, okay? Then I'm gonna invite you to start doing external things, okay, that are going to empower you. For example, for me, having my bed done is empowered and it empowers me. My, your bed, Carla? Yes, because even if maybe my house is not completely clean because I do have a three-year-old, that's that one thing I can control that I can, yes, I'm a little bit of a control freak, that I can do my bed and then know that every time I go into my bedroom, my bedroom looks and feels put together. And those external things impact me in a certain way. Okay, for example, some of you guys might be like my husband. My husband's a very neat person. So hi, Sophia. My husband's a very neat person. So it literally like puts him in a certain mood when he sees things everywhere. Like it just, it doesn't do that to me, but it does that to him. For me, it's the bed. I have to see the bed put together. Like, I don't know what it is, but I've discovered that when I do my bed, and every time I walk into the bedroom, because I work from home, every time I walk into the bedroom, like it makes me feel a certain way, okay? The living room might have might be full of toys, doesn't impact me. It impacts my husband, okay? Hi, amor, okay? So what are the external factors that impact your life, okay? So for some of you guys, it might be cleaning. For some of you, it might be having certain people around. For some of you, it might be constantly looking at your dream board. Okay. If you guys didn't go back and listen to the call that I had with Leah, Leah really like that call was really impactful for me. Okay. Cause one of the things that she says, some external things that she does slash internal is that she has a gratitude journal that she writes in about what was she grateful for, for the day before. And I was, if you watch, like I hardly talked in that conversation with her. I was like, because I was thinking the whole time, I'm like, I haven't done that in a long time. So guess what I did yesterday? I started writing in my gratitude journal again, right? And it was not all gratitude. I had a little bit of like history of what happened the last week, you know, and I went in here and I started writing, okay? So then some of the things that she does, the other thing that she does, she looks at her dream board, right? Her dream her looks at her dream board and that fuels her, okay? So those are some steps that you can do. Now, let me tell you what happened that, what other things you can do to, cause you're not always gonna be home to look at your bed, to look at your dream board, okay? The other thing is this, if you want to change, and this is from Anthony Robbins, if you don't know who he is, Google him, YouTube him, okay? Because one of the things that he talks about is write this word down and then go, go look at it, okay? And that is breaking your patterns. How do you interrupt your pattern? And I do this a lot. Okay, you'll see me if you're around me. If you see me snapping my fingers, I'm not snapping them at anybody but myself because a thought came in my mind, a feeling came in over my body that I want out. A thought, a feeling, I want out. Like interrupt it because otherwise it takes you down a, a like like a little like down the tunnel, however you say. It, okay, down the rabbit hole. So what you what what I what, what he teaches you to do? Okay. Um, I'll see if I can find a good video and I'll put it down in the comments, okay? And then you guys can go watch it and practice it. But one of the things that he talks about is how if you want to change how you feel, okay, you must change your physiology first, okay? Change your physiology. What does that mean? You got to stand up. You got to move around. You got to do things that are going to shift the energy inside of you. Because if you're sitting down and you're like thinking about it and you're thinking about it and you're thinking about it, it's only going to make it worse. But instead, if you get up, you move, you do something, he doesn't move. He goes, I don't know. He does something, something like that. He's like, or whatever he does. Right. And it, he like every time he does it now, he's done it so many times that it programs him to put him in a certain state. So when I first learned this, I felt kind of, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I kept, now I don't care. Now I could do it. Like I could be like, Whoa, or whatever. Right. But back then I started by just snapping my fingers saying, get over it, delete, delete. I would literally tell myself that way, like, delete, delete. And by me, like just snapping my fingers and telling myself, delete. 
delete. And it wouldn't right away go away. Again, this has been years in the process. But as I was doing that, I started to condition and program myself to literally change my state within a snap of a finger. Is this making sense? You guys type it on the chat. If this is, give me a fire emoji if this is making sense, okay? So number one, change your physiology, okay? Do something, move, do something, like get them moving your energy. Number two, change your focus. Like what you're focusing on needs to shift. So for example, the day that I was gonna do the call, right? In the morning before I got on the call, I was talking to the hospital and uh, they were telling me that, you know, that he was going to go into surgery and what it was going to be and all that kind of stuff. The call was at eight in the morning. So um, I was talking to the hospital and it, you know, it made me really sad to think and uh, the unknown and, you know, what was going to happen and all that kind of stuff. And then I had like 30 minutes. Okay. Before I got on the call, okay, like I'm just gonna be honest with you. I went into the I went into the workout room and I was like, I was like jumping up and like grabbing my knees. Why? Because I need and tapping my knees. I needed to shift my energy. I was like, okay, because I had already worked out. I did the meditation. I did my winning formula, but then I got on the phone call with the hospital right before the call. So of course it put me in a weird state. So I already know, like I wasn't gonna get back on the Peloton. I wasn't going to go for a run. So what's the next best thing? Jump and touch your knees. High knees, high knees, right? I did like three or four of those, right? And then I, I chanted other things. Like I say certain things to myself, okay? I'm like, you got this girl. You got this girl, okay? It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Like I started to say empowering words in my, within myself, okay? Then I focused not on the surgery, not on my husband at the hospital. I shifted my focus. And I started to think about, as soon as I did that, it made my heart start pumping, right? It brought more oxygen to my body. Then I changed my focus. And what I did was I started to focus on everyone that was going to be on the call. I started to think about how I was going to impact all these lives, right? I started to think about how I was going to make a, be a contribution and like, and honestly, also, I'm going to be honest with you, this might sound a little cocky, but I started to think, not cocky, selfish, I started to think about me, like how I needed to show up for me. Because at the end of the day, you guys, there's nothing more valuable than your word. And like, I thought, okay, if I cancel, which that, that, that thought never crossed my mind, but if I canceled, how would that impact other people? How would that make me feel? Not even how would that make me look? No. How would that make me feel? I would feel like I was letting the company down and they've done so much for me. And then I started to think about, okay, and all these people that, you know, that I started to visualize how I was going to impact all these people's lives and all this other stuff. I changed my focus. Okay. So number one, change your physiology. Number two, change your focus. Focus on not what you cannot change, but focus on what, you, what you're about to do or what you're about to impact or whatever the case may be, okay? So number one, change your physiology. Number two, change your focus, okay? And then in this particular case, okay, I personally, I'm gonna be honest with you because it was a call that I had to show up for. I started to, and I'm gonna say this very slowly in case you guys wanna write it down. I did not make this up. I learned it from Landmark Education. That, that education changed my life. I know there's a lot, of, a lot of other companies, whatever you do to, a person, to do personal development, to me, there is nothing more valuable. To me, there is nothing more important than investing in myself, for me, okay? So this education dramatically changed my life. I will be forever grateful for the person that sent me, that invited me to this course. And I took the whole thing. I was even a coach at it, okay? I invested so much time of my life at that education. And one of the things that I also learned there is that what, who you are is your word. Who you are is your word. So in other words, okay, who you say you are is who you are. So your declaration is your reality. So like, if you say like, I'm just lazy, okay, you're going to act like a lazy person, okay, I'm just whatever, okay, 
it's like, be careful because you're literally declaring who you are and therefore you will act accordingly. I'm going to say that again. Be careful what you declare because then you'll act accordingly. So if you want to change your behavior, your focus, you want to change your life, starts with all the other things I just mentioned, right? Your routines, your daily habits, what you focus on, changing your physiology, all of that. And it also makes a difference because you can do all those things and be like, I'm just stupid. I'm just dumb. And like, like you're being contradicting. You're like contradicting yourself. And with contradiction, energy will not flow. So what I learned at Landmark Education is the power of my word, not only honoring what I say I'm going to do, not only that, but honoring my word, like the power of my word, like I am powerful, I am unstoppable, I am strong, I am determined, I am whatever, right? But if you're constantly putting yourself down, well, then that is what you're living into, okay? So number one, so that, that Monday, what did I do to get myself like, whew, right? And I had to do it twice because then the company said something. I started crying. I had to go back and do it again. So the first thing I did was I woke up. I did my routine. I meditated. I worked out the whole thing, right? Then I like changed. I got the phone call. It wasn't very pleasant. I changed my physiology. I started doing whatever you want to do, okay? You can do some jumping jacks or just like, whew, like shake it off, whatever. You got to move a little bit because if you're all up tight, nothing's going to work. Then I changed my focus, okay? And then here's what I say. You want to write this down. Okay, here it goes. I say, like, I say this, this is it. This is it. And it's perfect. From nothing, who I am is the possibility of, and then I declare it. I'm going to say it again. Okay, do you want to write it down? This is it. And it's perfect. From nothing, who I am is the possibility of, and then you fill in the blanks. I'm going to say it again. This is it. And it's perfect. From nothing, who I am is the possibility of, and then you declare what you want to be. So that Monday, okay, I did everything I needed to do. I got the phone call. It wasn't cool. I wasn't happy, right? I did some physiology changes. I focused on the call, not my, not my husband at the hospital. I focused on the call. And then, I, and then I started to declare, like, this is it. And it's perfect from nothing. Who I am is, and then I declared it. I forgot what I said because I feel it in the moment, okay? I, I declare what I need at that moment. Like, sometimes I'm like, who, this is it. And it's perfect from nothing. Who I am is patient. That day, I didn't say that, okay? It was probably more like powerful, unstoppable, determined. I don't know. Like, whatever comes out of my mouth at that moment is what I declare that I'm going to be. Okay, so I'm gonna say it again. This is it. So this is like, you're saying like, this is it. This is it, like, this is it. Like he's in the hospital, I'm at home, this is it. And then I say, it's perfect. Like it's perfect, the universe is perfect. That's what I mean by that. Like that's what, I think that's what they mean. I don't know what, I don't know why Landmark says that but I don't ask a lot of questions, I just do it. And it's like, so like, this is it. And it's perfect, like it is what it is. They have this thing that you have to choose your life right? Like to accept and choose your life. If you choose, not accept, you choose your life. Anyway, this is it. And it's perfect. And then you say from nothing, meaning like clean slate, like whatever happened five minutes ago, whatever happened a second ago is no longer who I am. So this is it. And it's perfect from nothing. Okay. From nothing who I am is, and then you declare who or what you want to be. I say those words all the time before I go on stage, before I, well, not all the time, but most of the time when I really need to like get myself like in state, you know, like I snap my fingers, get rid of those thoughts. Okay. Cause I've done it so many times. I interrupt my pattern. I start thinking, I'm like, nope, let it go. I start thinking of today. I was talking to my mom and I wanted to say something. And I'm like, I am committed to mind my own business this year. Okay. So like I so many times contribute to people's lives. They're not even asking for advice. I voy yo. So I'm like, no more. So I was about to tell her something. And I went, I went like this, I'm like, let it go. And she's like, huh? I'm like, no, not that. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So I just like snap my fingers. I'm sure my husband by now, whenever he sees me snapping my fingers, he must be thinking like, what, what was she thinking? Like, I just, nope, bad thoughts come up. Nope, let it go. Bad thoughts, bad feelings. Nope, let it go. 
whatever it is for you. Okay. For me, it's snapping my fingers. It's not the best thing because sometimes people think I'm snapping it at them. It's not even the case, but I didn't have to explain. Right. But okay. I do that. And then I say, this is it. This is it. And sometimes I got to say that a lot. Like this is it. This is it. And it's perfect from nothing. Who I am is the possibility of, and then boom, boom, boom. And I just declare it. And, and you'll see that if you do this enough, you will start to live into whoever you say you are. All right, guys. So I hope you find that helpful, right? If you got on to here a little bit late, you guys can, I'll post it on the chat. I love the snapping of the fingers because I'm a physical person. So it's exciting to try it. Yeah. So find whatever works for you. You know, Anthony Robbins goes like, whoosh, whoosh, like, you know, he hits his chest before he goes on stage. Right. I, can you imagine us like, whoosh, right. So whatever it is for you, for, you know, you could just like tap your knee. You can like, 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 I don't know, do something that is going to interrupt your pattern. You can breathe. If you don't want to do any of that, you can go, let it go let it go, right? Like whatever it is, the point is you've got to interrupt your pattern. You have to interrupt your pattern. If you want to know more about that, look at all the Anthony Robbins stuff. I absolutely adore his things. Um, he currently, you know, has a challenge going on. If you're not signed up for that, he started it on Facebook. Um, and so it's free. Okay. So he has a lot of things that can support you, but you know, the most thing that I could tell you is create rituals, create patterns, get to know yourself. Like I already know what triggers me. I already know what makes me happy. Like Rocky, Rocky four. Like if I want to be in a certain state of mind, like play Rocky four and it, boom, it takes me there. Right. The song by Kelly, by Kelly, um, uh, it's my time. Like, boom, it takes me there. So you need to start. You cannot leave. Feeling good is a choice. And feeling good is a strategy. Feeling good is a choice and feeling good is a strategy. So ask yourself, what are the strategies that you're going to put in place that are going to make you feel the way you want to feel? Like, look, if I want to cry, I know exactly what song to play that's going to make me cry. Okay. So like, to me, music does a lot of that to me. Okay, so might be prayer, might be meditation. I think you guys get the point, but um, but try it out. I would love to hear. I would love to. I would love for you guys to try it. Come back, leave it in the comments. You know, did it work? Did it not work? Do you have questions? Okay, because I really feel that this is something that most of us cannot do enough, and that is take control of your emotions, take control of your feelings, take take control of how you live your life through your emotional state. Because to be honest with you, that's like probably the hardest thing, I think, to dominate. Okay, so I invite you to do it. If you find this video, you know, uh, helpful, share with somebody, hit the little arrow, share with somebody, be like, look, let's try this together. Hold somebody accountable with you. Have somebody hold you accountable. You know, leave a comment below if you find this valuable. Tell me what you did. Tell me if you have any questions. And we'll make sure that, you know, we contribute more to this. As I think this is something that a lot of people can really benefit from because once you can dominate and if you can dominate your emotions you can dominate your life i'll leave you with that all right guys have a blessed day and we'll talk to you later